so this is going to be a reading for my Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be for September 21st to the 23rd. Now, keep in mind with this being a general reading, you only want to take what applies to you and leave the rest. And if you, of course, have question as to what does apply to you and what to do with your situation overall, feel free to get a reading from either your favorite reader, whether that's me or someone else. Um, so that you can get personal clarity. And if you want one with me specifically, that information is always listed in the description box. And of course, subscribe so you never miss a beat and let's get straight into the reading. Now, the first card that I have, this is gonna be a message from your spirit guides and we have emergence and it says creation, resurrection and magician. Okay. So this is my first time actually seeing this card in this deck. Um, so this is interesting energy. So this has a lot to do with you guys coming into um, who you're really meant to be or your divine purpose, I should say, or the path that you're supposed to be on. Um, even though you guys have already been on that path, it's like you guys are really starting to, like this card says, emerge. Um, emerge. Dang, I had a brain fart. Oh my God, I hate when that happens. Anyways, um, you guys are like starting to elevate. And what needs to happen, I think the main message here, what needs to happen is understanding how you have a lot of control in terms of what your future looks like. So some of you could be, you know, really basing your future off of how things just kind of play out, but you never want to be on the butt end of situations where you wait until things kind of sour before you make changes in your life, especially changes that you personally want to make. Um, so that's what spirit's trying to kind of get you guys to see is that you have more control than you think, especially when it comes to the now and how that affects the future. Okay. Now, digging deeper into this reading, the theme, we have the Magician card. So I'm not going to even drag it too much with this card because we kind of just talked about that energy. And we literally had the Magician word actually come out on this card. So that's interesting. But again, your personal power is being realized during this time frame or there's a need for you to understand it, at least. And um, also, this is kind of people showing their true intentions or their true motives as well. So um, you may have people kind of show you sides of themselves that give you personal clarity on how you should um, deal with them or interact with them or whether or not they should even be in your life still. Now, speaking of love specifically, I have the Prince of Swords representing that. Um, so a lot of you are getting really tired of someone picking and choosing when they want to communicate with you, when they want to deal with you, when they want to, you know, put effort forth to make this relationship serious. Um, I also see a lot of you being sick and tired of like the random arguments or random issues or random things that your person may do that kind of throws you off and throws the relationship itself off. Okay. Okay. Um, some of you who are dating someone new, it could be moving pretty quickly, pretty fast. <laughs> um, and for a lot of you, there could be slight trust issues either on your end or this person's end. And that may be a source of why things stop and start. But a lot of you are also going through the process of kind of like releasing some like abandonment issues or... Like issues when it comes to you fully wanting to connect with people because you may have a fear of being ghosted or put on the back burner randomly. Now, when it comes to career, I have the five of swords. So mm, this is getting in your head a little bit too much. Um, this could also be you having people around you who you feel like don't necessarily support you in what you want to do. And that if you were to take action on what you truly would like to do career wise, that 
people wouldn't understand it. So that may be talking you out of actually taking action on it. Okay, this could be like trying to be an entrepreneur or doing something more unorthodox. Some of you may even want to be a tarot reader, but you may be scared that people in your family may judge you or something. Um, for others of you, it's more so like, again, feeling as if you just don't really have that much support right now, or there's just too many different factors that's affecting your thought process to where that may not even be a main focus in terms of you like doing things to change your career around. Um, some of you are also really tired of like the mind games or games that people are playing like within your work environment. Now, what I see for the advice, I have the full card and there's a need for you guys to try a new approach to doing things. Um, where some of you guys have been doing things the same way in terms of how you date or the the people that you may attract may have like the same type of characteristics that you guys need to pay attention to. Um, especially if you keep running into the same issues. It's like maybe trying a different approach. Trying a different area <laughs> to meet people. Okay. But also um, within a marriage, within a relationship, in order for you guys to balance out these like highs and lows that you guys keep experiencing, there needs to be a new approach in how you guys deal with the problems in this relationship. Like trying to find ways to spice up the relationship as well, especially for my people who've been with their person for a very long time. Things may be kind of like boring or dry. <laughs> Now, this last card is going to represent the future, and I love the chariot. Um, so this is focus on moving forward, okay? When I say moving forward, this is just not trying to allow the past to be the catalyst of, you know, failure in the future. So this could be moving forward in the sense of you and your person moving forward and trying to let go of the past, um, or you guys deciding to move forward without them, or you guys deciding to move forward in a direction of, like, advancing in your career or at least just trying to find ways to elevate in a sense whether that's like trying to get a promotion raise things like that but this is what I see I hope I did put things in perspective um, if you took something from this reading feel free to thumbs it up and subscribe any information you need to also book a reading will be listed below and I'll see you in the next one